What's up guys? Thanks for dropping back by the JRC54 channel here at the Auto Shop Life. So, before I kick off today's video, just want to mention I'm doing a 1K follower giveaway on Instagram. You guys looking out there for socket organization, we're going to dive down, go through a bunch of companies here, ones that, you know, I have picked up, companies has sent me. I got a couple of them here, subscribers request you guys had turned me on to. We're going to kind of check out, go through the pros and cons, but I got one by Westling Machine that uh I'm going to be giving away the whole set. So you guys want a chance to win the whole set, head over to my Instagram page, make sure you hit that follow button, go through, tag two people for your chance to win when I hit 1,000 followers. So in light of that, let's, uh, let's get into the video, dive down, check out these great ways to organize that socket drawer. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so we're going to start off pretty basic here. Obviously, you got your stock trays that most sockets come in. You know, mostly this one's here is a snap-on one, but most of them come in maybe a foam insert or, you know, something like this. Snap-on's great because it's got the magnet on the back. You know, you could organize your sockets like this. Snap-on comes in the set, but obviously like this one and many other ones we'll be talking about, you know, it's only the set. So if you got bigger sockets like those Hanson style, you guys remember the rant video, you know, for bigger sizes, obviously you'd have to figure something out for it. So, you know, what the set comes in, it's good, but if you want to add this to another set or you got more sockets, you know, you're pretty limited. Plus, you know, the footprint on that's pretty thick for what it holds, but you're limited on what you can use for sockets. You know, obviously beginner stuff, entry level stuff, I've all used them, we've all used the sock stuff. Here's another one, obviously the metal racks. You know, I know guys out there that use these and swear by them. You know, screw them to a piece of wood. You know, they do come super long. You got, you can modify them. You know, take the clips off and add the sockets you need. You're not, you know, stuck to one size fits all. You know, if this thing doesn't say a 21, so you put a 21 there or a 19. You know, you could also use this for torque sockets and you know, e torques and all that stuff. You know, you snap on there. These are all three eighths here, but you know quarter inch so that's another good way this one's got the little handle on it I think this one's made by Craftsman had this around for a while but this is exactly what I don't want to use anymore but that's another way easy stuff but then getting to the good ones here same staying with along the lines of the Craftsman one I got one from you know Goliath Industries I'm sure you guys seen these this is a, a, a good cheap alternative way to organize your sockets uh, these ones are plastic. This is plastic. It's pretty rigid, but you could pull the little end off and then obviously add or subtract the pieces here. They fit in there on a little sliding thing. These things got the little groove on the side and you could still screw these down. You know, there's no magnet on this one, but you could still screw these down, you know, onto a board or whatever. You know, obviously if it's not your box, you're not going to screw it into your box, but you could set a piece of ply board down and then you know, put the foam padding down and then screw these down to where when you lift out a socket they don't fall or you lift up the whole tray. And then I got one. They make them in aluminum, but this one's from Osa Tools. Got the whole set. This one's in 3 8 These ones slide a little bit better, a little bit better quality than the Goliath. And obviously being aluminum, you know, it'll be able to handle more. And same with the ends on this one. You could pull it off, you know, take them off and all that stuff. You could set another one next to it, maybe a shorter one or a longer one and continue on with the set. You know, these are great, these rails are a great way to organize sockets. We've all used them probably before. You know, I do have these in the socket drawer. I do use these, maybe not made by Ulsa Tools, but, you know, these regular socket rails, it's a great way to organize sockets. You know, obviously without having to worry about what size, you could kind of change it up. You know, do half, you know, the deeps, you could do half the shorts all on one rail. So there's a lot of customization when you do with just regular old rails. And then carrying on with the socket rails, here's another one. It's a, this one's also aluminum. This one's made by Auto Body now. I got it through, uh, but it's pretty much the same. It's kind of a, a dual rail system, so you can kind of do, you know, your deeps and your shallows. And then the same thing, pretty customizable. The, the end pops off, and you could add or subtract, you know, more little 3 8 drive things for the sockets if you got to take some off. And, you know, what I like about these is obviously, same with the other ones, you're not prone to, you know, as of like a Hanson style tray, you're not stuck, you, you know, putting in the size that needs to be in there. You can kind of use it for whatever size it needs to be on there. So another great way. I'll leave links in the descriptions where to pick these up. Another cheap, cheap alternative, the sock rail, and it's, it's 
It's got a nice wide footprint, so you know it's not going to tip over with heavy sockets in it. And you can see it holds sockets pretty well. You can kind of line them up in there. You can kind of see it all set up. You know, it won't tip over. You can definitely handle it. No magnets on this one. And I keep mentioning the magnets because the next one's going to be one of my favorites here. It's also aluminum, but it's got an added feature to it. Let me pull this one off. This next one's made by Vim. This is the MagRail system. I'm sure you guys have seen these or heard me talking about them. This is kind of you know the direction I'm going with the drawer between these and the Hanson style trays. I really dig these because they got a big the earth magnet that runs across the whole rail. These things do stick well to metal. They actually stick so good they got to give you a special tool to lift these off of metal when you have them in your drawer. So you know this by itself even with tall sockets on there it's not going to tip over because it's going to be stuck to the metal surface. And what I like about it is they got the little pins for it so the sockets kind of stay in there. So you set them up with all the sockets here. And you can pretty much see, you know, they don't they don't tip over. You can lift that up, hold it upside down. You can see they don't fall off. So between the the socket sticking to this rail and then the rail sticking to your box, you know, it's a nice solid way to store sockets. The only thing is, obviously, the length on this one, if you would need another one, you'd have to put another one by it. They do make longer ones and shorter ones than these. You could buy a kit. They do make longer ones. But the only issue with this one is, obviously, if you have more sockets, you know, you want to go a little bit longer, you'd have to either put another one near it or buy, you know, a longer one. Vim does offer longer ones and shorter ones of this, so you can buy, you know, these are the standard, I think, 12-inch ones. You can see i got a part number on this one, part number on the back. Magrail TL, but you know, great way to organize sockets. One of my favorites, definitely, definitely in the top five ways of organizing sockets. And uh, you know, definitely what a little something I'm going to do with the socket drawers. Definitely got enough of these that I'm going to use and use these for uh, you know the odds and ends that don't fit in the Hanson style trays. But a great way to organize sockets for your cart. You put these on the cart, stick them on the top of your cart, or however, you know, and they do hold. They hold pretty well too, even though that doesn't snap in there. It's just a circular. And then these things could be adjusted. You could turn them and slide them, you know, accordingly to the sizes on there. So it's pretty nice. Definitely uh, universal on this one. You could do a lot with these. And then the next one we got, obviously, you guys seen on the channel. You guys see, heard me talk about these. We got the Hanson style trays. You know, great way of doing it. I really, I do dig these because of the size. You know, I want to be able to open the drawer and see, you know, what size goes where. You know, they make them in metric standard. They got a spot for your deeps, snap on, you know, offers them in three rows. I think there's a couple other companies you could get them in a three row for your, you know, your uh, deep, mid, and short. But, you know, the only thing is, you know, if you got your sets that carries on past the 20 on this one, you know, you're, you're screwed. You know, you can't really put your 21, 22, your bigger style sockets. You know, it'd be nice if I see these style come in maybe an upgraded kit where you you could kind of extend it. You know, from 21 to 32, you'll have another rail set next to this one. Maybe these things clip together, you know, but a great way to organize, you know, standard sockets. Obviously, 6 to a 20, you got a nice little spot for them, nice little home for them. You know where they go every time. And this next one I got, pretty nice. Definitely built well. You guys see these out there. Um... I know Olsa Tools make these, Auto Body Now makes these, there's a few companies out there that supply these. These are from uh, uh, ARES, not really sure. I actually purchased this one on my own um, per subscriber's request, but it's definitely decent. It's got a nice soft magnet on the back. The sockets do stick in there pretty well. You know, you're filling them up. You got a home for each of them. The longs would go here. Then you got a spot for the shorts. Would go here. And you could put them either way in this one, which is kind of nice. You fill it up, and then obviously you could put them either way. You could put them this way or that way, however you like. You know, I'd actually actually like to see the size on them, but, you know, it holds them pretty well. It is, it is magnetized down there. It's not a strong magnet or anything like that, but it definitely keeps them in place. And then the bottom of it obviously would stick to any metal surfaces. You know, for me, this one... You know, it's probably the same issue with the Hanson style trays. Obviously, you're prone to having your, you know, your 6 through 20 and all that stuff. If the set goes on, you know, you'd have to figure out other means to organize your bigger sockets and all that stuff. That's why I really like those mag rails. That's why, you know, even these come into play real nice. If you got bigger sockets, you could always, you know, continue on the drawer with that. Um, 
you know, but it is what it is. You know, your kind of standard sizes, you know, it, it says 15. So if you're anything like me, you want to put a 15 socket in there, you know, it, you're, you're kind of stuck with what it is. But another great way to organize the sockets, this thing's definitely got some weight to it. It's not going to tip over in the drawer. You know, this is definitely in one of my top five, too, for sure. Um, put links down in the description where you guys can get this one. Like I said, Oso Tools makes it, and I know Auto Body Now makes it. So both great companies that send me great products. All right, getting into the next one, kind of ties into the, the first ones we looked at with just the socket trays. This one's from Ernest. Um, I bought the whole kit of these. Another cheap alternative way to organize sockets. You know, just like the rails that we looked at from Osa and everything else, these are a bit longer. You could do a little more with them. And what I like is it comes with the little case for them. And then these case also snap out. They got a little locking tab. You could slide it out. And then you can just use them as, you know, the rail by themselves too or hang it. You know, they don't have, uh, you know, you're not, you're not stuck just using it by itself. They got this nice tray for it. They do send the sizes for it. So after you kind of get everything set up where you want it, you can put the sticker on it. So that's another great way, obviously, you know, only being prone to using the Hansen style trays where it's, you know, you're stuck with the 6 through 20. You could put whatever you want. If you skip sizes or you don't use more popular sizes, once you figure out where you're going to put them in here, you could stick the little sticker on the end here and know, you know, what size this one's missing. You'll know what size it is or you'll know where one goes if you're putting back your tools. Everything's got a home. They send you definitely enough stickers for it. I picked this thing up in uh, 3 8 quarter inch and half inch drive. Um, you know, I might use these in the future. Definitely like these. They slide pretty nice. They got a locking groove on there. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on the camera, but these things don't slide like normal you know they, they kind of click into place I don't know if you guys are hearing that and then you know the, the modification of being able to slide it off of the tray if you you know say you want to put it on your service cart from your toolbox and you don't want to bring the whole thing you could just take the shorts if you want to bring the shorts or take the deeps so it's another great way I'll have links part numbers to this one down in the description where you guys can find this maybe an Amazon link great way by Ernest alright guys and then last but not least from the post I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we got Wesleyan Machine Company. This one, uh, you know, definitely, definitely probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, the mag rails will be a close second, you know, and then so on and so forth. But this one picked up as a set. I am doing a giveaway on these. And this one, you know, I really can't too, say too much bad things about it. I mean, it's got all the pros of the rest of them do on there. You're not prone to one size. But then again, once you get the sizes on there, you know, it's not like they send any stickers. You would have to kind of just muscle memory and get used to where they put you, you're putting them and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, sockets fit on there really well. You can kind of tell how they taper off. You know, they're spaced apart at the beginning here, and they kind of get closer and closer together. You know, they kind of keep it in mind for bigger sockets. You know, obviously, if you have your bigger sockets and they're wider than the next one, you won't be able to fit the next socket in it. But, you know, for a full set, you know, these things will definitely fit a whole set of sockets that I got on there. And, you know, there's no magnets on these. But even if you shake them around, I did do the drawer test on them. But even if you shake them around, you know, they definitely they don't fall. So you're slamming drawers and all that stuff. They're not going to tip over. This thing's made, you know, it, it's like a billet aluminum on here. This thing's definitely machined well. These little posts are, you know, machined in there really well. Um, a great way I got the whole set you can see here's half inch they do half inch in uh, two separate sets probably for weight so you'll have your first half and the second half for your bigger sockets more spaced apart you know the posts are more spaced apart here's the closer ones and then here's the for the bigger ones obviously that's gonna fit on this one but the whole set is just quality stuff here's one for the quarter inch you can see it's nice it matches really well really nice set we got the 3 8 we got the half inch, and we got the quarter. You can see the whole set, but great way. You can, you know, definitely universal. You could definitely, you know, continue on. If you had bigger sockets, you could probably get another one of these and then just, you know, set it next to it and keep going in the drawer. Maybe stretch it across your whole drawer. Definitely a universal way of organizing sockets. You could definitely, uh, you know, I could definitely get used to using something like this. And who knows, I might do something like this in the future with my socket drawers. You know, I'm really holding out to see what uh, Toolbox Widget comes up with with their socket organization. You know, I'm pretty stoked about that. Can't wait to see what he comes out with. You know, but for now, i got to get my stuff together and uh, a couple great ways of doing it. This is obviously one of my favorites, and that's exactly why I'm doing it on a giveaway.
All right, guys. So that's a quick run through of you know my top ways to organize the sockets. You know the things I've been going through. My thoughts on these. Definitely got a lot of favorites here. You know, obviously the Westling, the Ernest Way. You know, the stuff that Also Tools makes. The Auto Body. Now, you guys check them out. Like I said, I'll try to leave as many links in the descriptions to their website. You know, maybe Amazon links. You guys looking to pick these up? But you know, definitely my top pick, the Westling. That's why I'm doing it on the giveaway. Close second would obviously be the mag rail, so on and so forth. You know, probably the auto body now and then the Hanson style. But for the socket drawer that I'm going with, obviously the Hanson style ones is, uh, you know, more or less what I'd like to be going for, where I'd like to see this drawer. And then, you know, the odds and ends that don't fit in the Hanson style trays, I'll pick up by the mag rails or the other ways. That, you know, so there's not going to be, you know, most socket organizations, there's not going to be maybe one style fits all, especially if you want to see the sizes on there and all that stuff or you know everything that works with the sockets obviously for the bigger sockets you'll have to think of other ways but these are a lot of great ways you guys are figuring out to organize your socket drawer a lot of great ways a lot of great companies a lot of great products out there like i said i can't wait to see what toolbox widget comes up with you know organize the sockets i might even switch it all up again but that's where i'm at now so wrapping this one up, you guys want a chance to win that Westling socket tray, you guys head over to my Instagram, CasperTech54, make sure you hit that follow, tag two people, and a chance to win. As soon as I hit a thousand followers, we'll be giving that whole set away, the, the half inch, the three eighths, and the quarter in standard and metric, my top pick. As always guys, like, comment, subscribe, catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.